it's Jessie here. I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I decided I was going to go through and share with you guys what I have in my collection of washi tapes. So I have gotten pretty heavy into paper planning as you may have noticed if you have been subscribed to me for a while. You'll see a lot of plan with me videos and sticker hauls and I haul a lot a lot of things that I use to decorate my planner with. Things like sticky notes and page flags and washi tape and that's what today's video is going to be about. So I'm just going to take you really quickly through what I have managed to collect, tell you where it's from if I can remember, I'll provide links where the things are available and that'll be it. So just a really quick down and dirty washi tape collection and hopefully you guys will enjoy this, just something a little bit different. So. I'm just going to start randomly in this section. This is how I have them organized, if you could call it that. They're not really organized at all. I need to come up with a better system. This is just one of the drawers from my Ikea Helmer unit. Um, it's got an Antonius basket insert in there, and I just kind of throw things in here very quickly, running out of room. Definitely need to come up with a different organizational process. But anyways, here we go. So the first washi tape that I have is this really cute green and white plaid one. Um, this is from the Duck brand. I do not for the life of me remember where I bought this. I know I'm not starting this co this collection video out very well, am I? But you can see it there. It's really, really cute. Matched a lot of my spring themes. And I think you can get the Duck brand tapes from Walmart and Target and places like that. So that's the first one. Next up, I have the washi that I bought most recently. This is a floral washi in a gray and white scheme. This came from... Walmart. Walmart's washi tapes are not quite as sticky as some of the other ones, but um, I really like them, especially for the price point. You can get them for less than a dollar, and I just think that that is a really, really pretty design there. Moving on to more seasonally appropriate washi, I got all of my Halloween washi tapes at Dollar Tree um, for a dollar. This one is just really, really cute orange with spires on it. I think I'm going to be using that in my scheme of this coming weekend, starting my Halloween schemes. Very excited about that. This is another Halloween one, but what I like about this is that it's not specifically Halloween. You know, it's just orange and black stripes, so it can be used more than just, you know, for Halloween spreads. Very nice for any fall spread that I want to do, so there's that one. This one is definitely Halloween specific. You can see it there, this came from the Dollar Tree as well, and it's just this gorgeous purple color with all kinds of cute little Halloween monsters and ghosts and things on it. This next one is just your classic Halloween design. It's black with orange pumpkins on it. Cute little jack-o'-lanterns. Another Halloween washi from the Dollar Tree, but again, this one's just black, white, and orange, so it can be used for more than just Halloween spreads. Very, very cute. This one might just be my favorite of the Halloween washi from Dollar Tree. It's this, that pretty purple again with these super cute Halloween bunting flags. I cannot wait to use this. Dollar Tree has also been rolling out their Christmas washi tapes, you know, for the holiday season, so um, I couldn't help myself. I had to pick up a couple. And uh, I like this one a lot because, again, it's not specifically holiday. I mean, yes, these are holiday colors, but... Um, I can incorporate these into other spreads as well, not just my Christmas schemes, but I love, love that print on there. You have got your classic red, white, and green stripe. And lastly, I've got this one, this gorgeous red with the Christmas trees on it. Very, very cute. Uh, another kind of seasonally appropriate one while we're doing them. I think I got this one at Dollar Tree as well. This is just a little Easter washi tape with the pretty lavender purple and the Easter eggs. And I believe I got that at Dollar Tree back, you know, around Easter time. Moving on, I've got a couple of glitter tapes. Both, both of these came from my local Dollar General. They're really, really pretty. They do get glitter all over the place, but um, I like them a lot. They stick really well. You can see these are the kind with the paper backing, so you have to peel them off. They're a little bit more difficult to use, but obviously that's just the nature of these tapes. So I've got the one in blue and then the one in red. I bought these around 4th of July. Surprise. 
Next up, I have a collection of washi tapes, again, with the glitter. I picked this up at Michael's. It came as a set. I bought this with Halloween in mind. It's got, you know, those great Halloween colors. Love the glitter. And, um, like that I could get a whole set of these for under five bucks. Okay, moving on. You guys are going to notice a theme here. I have got another Dollar Tree washi tape. I can't help myself. Just a dollar. So many cute designs. These stick relatively well. Um... I don't know what else to say. This is this is just a really pretty brown and white washi. This is another thing that came from the Dollar Tree. I actually got both of these for a dollar. It was two for one. Um, and these originally came on a little tape dispenser. These are not specifically washi tape. These are like um, more like plastic tape. I'm trying to find the edge here so I can show you. Hold on. So while they're not washi tape specific, I think that they will still work out really nicely. I love the patterns. Um, there's this really pretty kind of tribal Aztec-y pattern on this one. And then this one is just really pretty with hearts. So I really like those a lot. I think that I will definitely be able to incorporate those into my schemes. Um, I've got another floral washi from Walmart. This is very, very similar to that gray one I showed you earlier, just in pink. You guys have probably seen, if you've watched my Play With Me videos, me use this a lot in my pink schemes. I don't have very, very many pink washi tapes. I think it's not my absolute favorite color or anything, but uh, I really like this one. Here is another pink washi tape, and I think I got this one at Target. I may be mistaken. Um, I have a lot of washi, and it's kind of hard to keep track of everything, but this is another one of my favorites to use. Again, I do a lot of pink themes, and uh, this is good quality. It's a little bit sheer. A lot of these washi tapes are, so sometimes you have to layer them, but uh, I like that one a lot. Here is another one that I definitely got from Target at the Target One Spot. It's just a really pretty coral with some polka dots on it. I really like this one a lot. This is one of my all-time favorites. This is another Walmart find. I love the little mason jars with the hearts. I think that this is just about the cutest washi ever. I used this a ton in some of my spring-themed spreads earlier in the year. Um, I just think it's so cute. Here is another sort of holiday-themed one. This one I bought around the 4th of July at Dollar Tree. Just really pretty blue with the stars on it. Perfect for you know, 4th of July spreads, but can be used other times too, you know, um, anytime you're feeling patriotic. Or even nautical, this would work well with a nautical theme, I think. There is this one that I've just uh, got paper clipped so that it doesn't unroll everywhere. This is another glitter washi tape with the paper backing. This one came from Five Below, and it's really pretty because it's very glittery, but the glitter doesn't go everywhere, it's flat. Um, so, I really, really like this one as well. I have got this super pretty paisley washi tape that I believe came in a set from Walmart with some of these other tapes here. Um, I really like this one a lot. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I love the paisley print. If I'm not mistaken, this came in that set as well. Um, just really gorgeous. I love the floral. I think this is so bright and pretty for spring. I've used this a ton as well. I like that one a ton. And here's another one that came in a set from Walmart. This is just a black chevron print. Very nice and versatile. From that same set, we've got this really nice neutral kind of zebra print. I really like these neutral washi tapes. You can use them when, in just about any spread and then just add color. This one as well came in that set. It's just a pretty leopard print. I've used this in a lot of my fall themes. I have got just a classic red polka dot that either came from Walmart or Dollar Tree. I don't remember exactly. This is where I fail. Um, I have so many that it's just hard to keep track. And these uh, Dollar Tree ones and the Walmart ones are very similar quality, so it's kind of hard to tell. But I think this came from Walmart. Don't quote me. This really, really pretty blue and white stars came from Hobby Lobby. Um, I cannot remember the brand name on this washi tape, but you can definitely still find it at Hobby Lobby. I just saw it. Uh, the last time that I was in there last week. Surprisingly enough, this is my only purple washi tape. Purple is my favorite color, and for some reason I am just sorely lacking in the purple planner supplies, but I'm definitely going to have to change that soon. Um, this is just, like I said, a really pretty purple polka dot, and this came from Walmart. As did this one. This is another one of my favorites. I love the arrows on this. I think it's so pretty. I use this a ton in the springtime. 
You get a ton of uses out of this washi tape, especially if you're just using it to decorate your planner or whatever. Um, you know, you pay a dollar for a roll, but this roll is going to last forever. This really pretty uh, kind of green checkered washi tape came from the Target One Spot. You can see it's very, very sheer, but very, very pretty. Good for those spring layouts. And this is another one of my favorites. I love the yellow. I think it's so pretty. And this is from Walmart. So those are all of my kind of larger rolls of washi tape. I do have some skinny washi and a lot of washi samples that I've gotten in the mail from Random Acts of Kindness and things in this little section here. So I'll go ahead and show that to you next. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you, tell you guys where these came from because they all came either as gifts with purchase on Etsy or in Random Acts of Kindness. So most of these, I do not know where they come from, but I'll share them with you anyway, um, just for cohesiveness. It's really pretty pink and gold stripe and this pretty Easter one. I've got these, this nice um, kind of a little bit slimmer but not super skinny kind of burgundy color and then this with the writing on it. This says, what does this say? The time is now. Be fearless, find your voice, take chances, make a difference. So very kind of inspirational, seize the day type things. Um, this is a really great way, by the way, to store your washi samples. Um, these actually came to me like this, but I have taken a lot of different washi samples and put them together on um, playing cards because they're just really nice and easy to store that way. As you can see here. So these, I've used up almost all of these. These were um, Random Acts of Kindness, I believe. Don't know where they came from, but I, if you guys happen to know, if you recognize these prints, let me know because I would love to own these. I think they're so pretty and fun. Some more Easter washi tape, um, and then some of that red polka dot washi that uh, I just didn't, I cut but then didn't use, so I just put it on this card to keep it, but um, really pretty Easter designs that I think came from Target. I think I remember seeing them there. Oh, I've got this washi, this came from Dollar Tree, um, it's just a really pretty black kind of lace print. These are just um, sticky tabs, they don't belong in there. These all came in a big set from Amazon. They're just nice, skinny washi. I love these. It was very affordable, this whole set. I may even be missing a couple from the set. I do have a few random washi laying around. I tend to be a bit scatterbrained and messy, and sometimes things don't get put away. But uh, I'm going to link this set down below. It's great if you're looking for skinny washi tape and you just want a large variety. Love those. I've got a little sample of a red chevron washi tape. I've got some more samples of washi tape here, this little bird. I actually have a whole roll of this little bird washi tape somewhere and I need to find it because it's one of my favorites and I don't see it here. Um, probably in another drawer or mixed in with my stickers. Like I said, I'm a mess, but it's just really pretty green with birds. I've got this roll as well somewhere, don't know where probably use them in the same spread and uh, misplace them anyways. It's just a really pretty kind of red and green or purple and green, blue, whatever color that is, checked one. And then this is another sample that I received. Um, don't know where, but I really like that pattern as well as this little skinny yellow washi tape that um, I've used in a few spreads. I like that one a lot. Got this really pretty gold washi tape that I've almost entirely used up. This came from Dollar Tree. And this is another great way to send and receive um, washi tape samples. These are these little um, plastic cards that you get with like, then not with like embroidery floss or whatever. So um, this is just that orange and red chevron. I love that. This is a Mickey and Minnie, and this is a Disney themed one with Mickey and Minnie and Donald. Got that as a random act of kindness. Most of these came as random acts of kindness. Um, got this pretty little cloud washi tape. This came from, um, as a free gift with a purchase from Washi Love Story, which I will link down below. And what I purchased were a couple of samples of the road washi tape. I think this is so cute. I don't know where to get this either. Kills me when I find super cute patterns and I can't find them, which is kind of why I wanted to do this video and share with you some of the things I have and where I picked them up, because I thought that might be helpful in case you've seen things in spreads, um, recognized designs, 
and want to get your hands on them. Next up, I have this little sample of this super cute um, Valentine's Day appropriate washi tape. And lastly are some little samples of the skinny washi, which again, I don't know where this pattern, these patterns come from, but I want to own the whole roll. So if you recognize these, please, please let me know. Um, this is just a really pretty multicolored slim washi, and this is gold stars on a skinny washi. So that's it, you guys. That was my collection of washi tape. Like I said, there may be a couple that I left out because they're scattered around my house, but um, that's the majority of it. If you guys have any suggestions for better ways to store this type of thing, I would love to hear from you. Please, please, please leave me a comment down below, as well as if you can identify any of those washi tapes that I mentioned that I'd like to um, own but can't find anywhere. Um, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite of these washi tapes were. I'd love to hear from you. Please, please, please leave me a comment. I love, love, love chit-chatting with you guys. So. Um, subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already, because I'd love to have you back if you're already a subscriber. Thanks so much, you guys. I love you. And uh, that's it. So I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everyone.